With Jana Katsuyama, who went to Sonoma and Napa counties, she's live in Napa Valley, where much of the community of Angwin has lost power. Jana. It has, Greg. And take a look behind me. You can see this huge stack of snow that was pushed up by bulldozers. You don't see that very often here in Napa Valley. And it's very hard snow right now. You can see it's like starting to ice over. That's because it's very cold here. If you take a look behind me, there are some lights, but just down the road, it is dark. They have lost power since about last night. And some PG&E crews that came through here told me the roads back there are so snowy, they can't get back there. So they are hoping to get power back on sometime tomorrow morning. But today, all the way through Sonoma County and up here in Napa County, a lot of people were just bracing for what's still to come. It was a surprise. A snow flurry on Friday turned wine country into a winter wonderland. Since snow like this has probably been since about early 2000s. Snowflakes covered the slopes surrounding Napa Valley and across into Sonoma County, and the cold snap meant the snow stuck instead of melting, even at low elevations. Highway 29 over Mount St. Helena was closed due to snow and fallen trees, and Napa County's Office of Emergency Services issued a shelter-in-place advisory. We want people to be cautious because of the recent weather and the impact on the roads, specifically in the unincorporated parts of the county, especially west of Highway 29, east of Silverado Trail. A freeze warning has been extended into Saturday morning, so even the slightest snow melt or water on the roads could turn treacherous. If we get down to those freezing temperatures, you know, even at lower elevations, we can very quickly start seeing ice patches. Watch those speeds. If all of those tires hit that ice, you're going to be spinning. Communities concerned about those without a warm home have opened warming shelters. We've had upwards of, you know, 70, 80 people. Heartfelt help. But with this winter's wild weather, greater need is adding unexpected costs. We budgeted $34,000 for this year. Um, at the end of this week, we will have exhausted that. So we'll be looking for additional resources if this weather pattern continues. For some, the silver snowflake lining was seeing children relishing the rare joy of sledding so close to home. That's beautiful. It's Napa Valley, Angwin, and we don't expect this. We often go to Reno, uh, Truckee, Lake Tahoe, but we only have to drive 20 minutes today. A lot of fun for the kids, but uh, take a look back here live. You can see it's already starting to ice up. You get that's what's called black.